Um, basically, my dad was having a chat with, with Miles. Why? Um, Why? What happened? Okay, let me explain. So the thing is, apparently, Miles wanted to see my dad because he apparently... I just, I want to question, like, the intentions, though. What has he done? Like, is that why... Is he gone there to say that I'm finally letting your daughter go out of this misery and No, not even luck? this. Not even this. It was more like, um, Jerry, I just, like, I, I have to apologise. I'm so sorry about what happened, about, oh. about my behaviour, about everything. So you think it, it was genuine? I think it was. I think he really liked my dad. At some point, I thought that he was like, he was maybe like in love with my dad rather than me. So it was really weird. No, he, he had this kind of, yeah, mm, he's, mm. he's got the respect. No, I can understand. It's just like my I'm dad. just questioning his intentions. Like. And I said something to him because he's maybe a little bit nasty, but I don't oh. really care. I really wanted to tell him. I was like, thank you, because now if, I, if I'm so happy, it's because of you, because, because I met someone amazing. Clearly, it's true. Like, My emotions have just that, gone like so up and down. But that's because of him that I made you and now I'm really happy. Then Miles yeah. left. So then I spoke to my dad, he was like, um, Meva, I think I can feel you happy and I can leave and be relaxed and going back to Paris because mm. you're going to be happy now. I'm mean, just like, that's a big thing to say. And especially going home to France and being like, I sure. feel comfortable exactly. and happy that you're happy. Oh, yeah, a new tattoo that like kind of describes the year I've had, like the ups and downs. It's like oh. a whirlwind of just, <laughs> just shit going like, on in your Yeah, arm. basically. Um, I had my chat with Mavis' father last mm. night. How did it go? <laughs> Mavis walked in. Mavis walked came, in. Yeah, Mavis came in. walked in. To yeah, the restaurant. yeah. Oh. Because basically, she he was leaving, so she came in to say goodbye, and she didn't realise I was there. Mate. Um, well, I'm not gonna lie, my heart sank and I was panicking. And she actually just said, look, I, I kind of understand that you've got to see my father, I get it. And she kind of went, Miles, I just want to thank you also for um, introducing me to James, because, you know, you know, he's now my new love and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, I just let her have it. Mm. Um, but it was, it was kind of like, you know, putting the nail in the coffin and going... Sweet, perfect. You know, there's no animosity and there's no hate and there's no, there's no love, there's no nothing really. It's just like... It's just, it's just you know, what it you is. guys got your own lives now. So. Yeah. Hey. How are you? How are you? Good, you're lovely. Thank you. What are you doing on your own? Um, I'm enjoying this lovely evening. How you feel after the, the meeting <laughs> with my dad last time? Yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah. Well, I mean, you apologised, is happy, and um, thank you for doing this. Thank you. Oh, of course. I mean, when you said thank you, you know, for James, and it was weird when you said because it, it hit me a little bit. It was at that moment I kind of realised that oh, she is happy and she is like moved on. And I think that moment was just it was just like a. a, a I think I guess it's a nice moment to feel like okay, well, we've kind of really gone through so much and we can now say it's all over. Yeah. I'm just, I'm happy that you're happy. Absolutely. It, it's like a weird feeling because now it's, it's, I feel like we're almost free from each other. Yeah, but I don't regret anything. Like, everything has been like amazing with you. Oh, I, I don't regret a single moment that I've gone through with you. And I will always, literally, I'm telling you now, I will always care about you, no matter what happened. This was nice. Yeah, really nice.